In 1960, the newly elected Conservative-run St Pancras Council decided to hike the rent on its 8,000 council properties. As a result, Ken Savage found himself helping to barricade the home of Don Cook, who led a campaign of non-payment known as a rent strike. A rent, 16 shillings a week to £2.95, say so £3. 16 shillings, old shilling to £3. That's some um, increase, isn't it? That's some um, increase. And a similar flat in Willingham Terrace, built prior to World War II, rose from £1.3 three shillings and sixpence to £3.3 three shillings a week. That is a horrendous amount of money to take away from someone's income. Uh, it, it must have... Well, it was, <laughs> It was quite a quite a blow, quite a blow to them, and I'm sure that, as I say, most of them must have uh, adopted the same attitude as Don Cook. Um, Don Cook immediately said, "I'm not paying this increase," and he got in touch with Arthur Rowe, who was living in another council block in Hampstead Road, uh, Silverdale, and uh, they decided, "No, we're not going to pay these rents. We've got to organise the tenants into tenants associations," and so. They set up the United Tenants Association in St Pancras and they soon had 31 tenants associations involved. 31 tenants associations in St Pancras. Um, they withheld their rents, they advised the people to withhold their rents, but when the council turned round and said, you'll pay your rents or we will evict you, uh, Don and Arthur, being humanitarians, decided we can't allow people to go through this distress we'll withhold our rents, let the council go for us. The tenants still supported them, of course, but they advised their tenants to pay their rents so they didn't have the stress of uh, being evicted. Um, they decided to um, resist and fight and shoulder the uh, burden themselves. But they had the support of many hundreds of tenants in the borough, of course. And um, they had all manner of furniture, bits of furniture and junk on the landings uh, to prevent the police and bailiffs coming in to evict them. Even two or three pianos they had on landings. Two or three pianos. That, <laughs> it's amazing what they'd done. And Don and Edie Cook, living on the third floor, uh, were virtually blocked in. And they were f sent food through a clothesline. They rigged up a clothesline and sent food, <laughs> don't ask me how they'd done it, but they got food into them. What they'd done, they got uh, uh, Ellen Luby, who was an active activist in St Pancras at that time, to ring a bell when the bailiffs came. She had a huge clangor, and she used to ring this bell, or she would ring this bell when the bailiffs came, which she did. And this aroused people throughout the uh, St Pancras borough, because one informed another, the bell's gone, the bell's gone, and it got down right to King's Cross, where even a, a, a group of people on um, workers there uh, put their tools down and came up, came up to support them. The firemen from Leighton Road Fire Station came round to support them. They had the full support of the people in that borough. United, organised action is the way forward for the people. If you've got somebody like you have today in Parliament, a party in Parliament, that are making these huge, horrendous cuts, that are imposing this austerity measures on you, there's only one thing to do, that's stop them. And there's only one way to stop them, let's get rid of them, get them out. And they'll only get them out by uniting with a, with, with a huge united body, a popular front of tenants on all these issues, to get a new government in. That's my advice. But having said that, you need the trade union movement to give you full backing because the trade union movement is the strongest working class power in this country. And uh, without the trade union movement, it'd be pretty, pretty hard to make any inroads. But people have, people have done it. A lot of cynics say to me today, it'll never come about, you'll never change people. But I say to them, you go back to, 19, uh, to 1381, the peasants revolt. People got together then the serfs against the feudal barons, bringing it up to date near a home, the women's vote. They campaigned for the women's vote. 
They carried out direct action. A woman threw herself under a horse at Epsom, got killed. They finally got the vote. The poll tax. Thatcher tried to introduce the poll tax, but the people said no. They got together, the united body, and they put a stop to that. This is what I say to people. It has been done and it can be done. Don't tell me it can't be done because it has been done. And I say, get united, get organised, and you can change. People can move mountains when they're organised.